Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be talking about Venus in the 4th house. Sorry, I've been gone for a long time if you've been waiting for this video. There was a hurricane because I live in Florida, so we were prepping for that, plus Mercury retrograde um, happened and my ascendance in Virgo, which is ruled by Mercury, and my Mercury is in Gemini, so I'm very mercurial, and Mercury retrograde does not help me to film videos, I swear. I cannot pronounce, I stutter a lot, and every time I have motivation for a video, I can't film it, something goes wrong, or I just have no motivation to film a video, you know? So anyways, let's just get into it. I am shuffling my tarot because it helps me to communicate a lot better um, about this placement, and... It helps me to feel you guys out, you know what I mean? <laughs> and yeah, so Venus is the house, is the planet of love, beauty, attraction, money, prosperity, wealth. Um, and then the fourth house is traditionally rule. Oh, Venus is also harmony, um, balance, beauty. I think I already said that, you know, things like that. Very prosperous energies, very happy energies. And then the fourth house is the house traditionally ruled by Cancer, which the Cancer rules the moon. And right off the bat, these people are very like emotional and sensitive people. And the Cancer, the fourth house, is also about background, family, home, inner world, private life, you know, affections, like traditions, family values, things like that. And the home life, like I already said that before, I, I repeat myself a lot. Anyways, um, when you put Venus here, like these, this indicates like growing up. First, I want to start with the parents, okay? And then we'll get into the home life. So with the parents, if there are no other challenging aspects in this house, like if it's just your Venus, this may have indicated that you had a very joyful, um, fam like your parents had a very joyful like relationship and even if it wasn't very joyful like you could kind of sense something because cancer here indicates a very good intuition you can kind of like get good vibes or bad vibes you're very you have a very good intuition when it comes to love things that you should stay away from things that you can gravitate towards you know so you may have picked up that there wasn't a balance between your parents but they may have not physically shown this to you. Like, there might have not been a lot of conflicts. Conflicts were probably avoided in your home life, you know? And it was a very traditional, like, kind of style. You know, you may have had a very close relationship with your mother. And if it wasn't your mother, a lot of female figures like sisters, aunts, grandparents, you know, things like that. Um, that you might have a very close bond with your sister or your siblings, you know, very family orientated. And even if you didn't, you care about them deeply. You know, these are the type of people, even if things are corrupt in their family home, they care about their family a lot. And like, they're very overprotective of their family. Now, if there are no challenging aspects here, your father might have been seen as someone who's very charming, very har like harmonious, very kind, um, very understanding overprotective of you if you're a female your father has like a huge influence on your love life in a sense you know these are the people that have a father who's very overprotective of their daughter or like they or like the daughters i know you guys don't want to hear this but you may gravitate towards someone who resembles your father in a sense more like not necessarily his appearance or his personality but someone who is very caring, compassionate, understanding, someone who's very homey, um, very fatherly in a sense, you know, very like a traditional father figure. That's who you gravitate towards when it comes to your love. And if it's, and, and if you're a female, you may start to embody characteristics of your mother as you start to grow up or any predominant female figure that you had in your life. And if you're a guy, you know, you may embody more of your father figure qualities. You may have had a really good relationship with your dad and you will find a partner who resembles a very predominant mother figure in your life. You know, if your mother was someone who was very caring and compassionate, you might want a partner who is like that. Someone that can cook you a really good meal. You know, these people want that traditional love 
like style and even if it's not achieved and even if they go for someone because a lot of times because this is the house that is traditionally ruled by cancer cancers love people that they can fix you know they might want someone who's tortured a little bit but you know there's still that soft and gooey side on the inside they like those people someone that's maybe very like um emotionally unbalanced but on the inside you know that they just want someone to long for you know these people when it comes to love their ex ex expressions of love are very deep they're very private you know they have a very huge attachment to their loved ones and they're very overprotective about their loved ones so when they're getting into relationships it's very hard to let go of people if it comes to an end and you care a lot about them a lot of times you may have a hard time standing up for yourself but if someone touches someone that you love you become all like mama bear on them you know you have a very protective instinct okay now that that's just like some qualities now let's talk about when it comes to relationships now these people like to gravitate towards someone that reflects either their family roots they like someone that gets along with their family they just need to click with their family their family's opinion kind of matters even if like they get date someone that like is completely opposite to what their family approves of they're not gonna like that their family doesn't approve of them you know and they want someone that they feel comfortable with they might date someone from their past, you know, someone like a childhood friend, or they might just really like someone that they've grown up with, maybe a close family friend, you know, like those type of relationships, like the best friend, um, and they grew up together, you know, things like that. Or they tend to gravitate without, like, this is subconscious, of course, like, nobody really knows for sure, but it indicates, like, a relationship that you may have had in a past life. It's not necessarily so much, like, your past in this life, but you could end up in a relationship with someone with your past life. A very harmonious relationship, though, is what you kind of strive for. These people like that romance in the relationship, you know, the very affectionate romance like not necessarily like the superficial type of love but the really caring deep affectionate love you know these people don't want someone who isn't loyal like you know like these people want someone that they know is like their soulmate in a sense these people have a very idealistic approach when it comes to love so they want someone that's very um, loving and caring they want those cozy evenings and they want that warm type of love and these people tend to strive a lot for like when it comes to their home life they strive a lot to have their home very warm very inviting some it may like resemble a lot of the arts like you know they can they're oh my god these people are very artistic very artistic they're they're um their home, as they grow up, might have a lot of family antiques or may resemble their home. They might stay in the same state or same country. Maybe a lot of traditional, like, things are out there that resemble something, you know. Um, they're very affectionate about their roots, so that plays a huge role in it. You know, and if they can be very good interior designers, you know, they, they have a really good eye for beauty and things especially when it comes to the home, you know, they might be very good with like gardening work. And even if they're not, they want their home to be very inviting. They like to host family events and they like it. They like inviting people into the home, you know, cancers. They like to like feed people like the things that they cook and they like to like have people come into their home and it's very clean and inviting and warm. They like to invite people in and have them like feel like, wow, like, I feel very belonged here, I feel very welcomed here. That's what they strive for, you know, they like to make people feel loved. These people, if you're friends with these people, or if you have a Venus in the fourth house, your friends are really kept to your heart, you know, and you care a lot about them, and they're kind of like a family to you. So, even if, yeah, so, music, a lot of, like, a lot of these people relate to music to express their feelings. A lot of these people are very good with painting. Dancers, I've had a lot of, I had one friend, I'm not saying I had a lot of friends from with this placement, but one friend, she had her, um, her moon in this house. And it's not the same thing, but like, it's very similar. You know, um, very artistic, very, like she expressed her emotions. And you can tell like, 
when she got on that stage, like, she gave her all, in a sense, you know? Um, you know, you like to possess a love of ease. You have, like, you want to make everyone feel comfortable. You're very motherly if you're a woman. You like to care and nurture for your friends and your family and your siblings, you know, especially if you're the older sibling. You you take a lot of initiative to kind of play that mother role. You're very caring and compassionate. And even if you don't display these qualities, you know, like these are like what you have in the back of your head. You know, like it's like hard for me to explain it, but you know, like, you do have really good, true intentions, and you're very, your heart is very big, and the home does play a huge role when it comes to the, the Venus person's life here, because if the home life is very discombobulated, it's very messy, it doesn't resemble anything of their traditional roots, it doesn't resemble anything that they want, their artistic tastes and qualities, they, these people retreat to their homes when they are, they're feeling a little bit, like, sad. If they're not having the best day, these people retreat to their homes, you know? And if they retreat to their homes and it's not up to par and it's not how they like it, you know, it's like, oh, another thing, like, that's making them feel uncomfortable. These people need to feel comfortable in their home life. And especially that the people that they invite into their life and the people that they give their love to, um, it needs to, like, be comfortable you know, um, yeah, they're, they, when they love you, they really do love you, and they really do care about you, and they get very attached to the people that they love, and at times, it can seem like their love is very overwhelming, but it's like, no, like, like, it's not overwhelmed, like, okay, yeah, it can be overwhelming, but it's like, they just want you to know that they love you, they just want you to know that they care about you, you know, um, you need a comfortable lifestyle, and yeah relationships have to be comfortable it has to be someone that you can open up to and like you can kind of be yourself around someone that's very loving and caring and affectionate you know you don't you don't necessarily jump into relationships that you you have a very good protective instinct you know what not to get into and what to get into you know you want a relationship that's very comfortable and homey and loving and i keep stressing that because it's like very important you know, and they may want a relationship as they get older that's very traditional. You know, like the mother plays the mother role, the traditional mother role, and the father plays the traditional father role. You know, like, that's okay with them. They don't mind this. It's not, like, it's not about being, like, sexist or anything. It's just, like, it's just, like, that's that's what they associate family with. They, that's what they associate the friend, I mean, not the friend, the family home life with, you know, like that traditional love style, you know? Um, yeah, they keep very close connections to their family a lot also. Um, yeah, that is it for my Venus in the fourth house. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. And feel free to leave any comments regarding the content of this video. And yeah, bye!